The Runaway Pig Lolita is the pet pig of Minnie Singh the Potter. Minnie loves his pig. He lets Lolita do whatever she wants, like digging up the pathways, gobbling up his lunch, and even teasing Gory the dog. Today, Lolita shuffles over to the bag of cucumbers hanging from the badam tree. Lolita stands on her tippy toes, stretching her snout towards the bag. She feels quite like a giraffe. Two big black crows fly down and nod encouragingly. Clink mink. Clink. Just then, the bells on the pottery gate tinkle. Lolita snorts in delight. The pottery gate is wide open. She forgets about the cucumbers. She forgets about the crows. She forgets about Minnie the potter and Gory the dog. Clicking her heels, Lolita trots out of the open gate. Sniff whiff whiff. Lolita raises her snout and smells the air. Who is this furry animal in the middle of the path? It is taller than her. It has knobbly legs and grayish-white hair. It has long ears, a long tail, and a long face. Harumph! Says Lolita, always happy to make a new friend. But Jenny the donkey has no time for friendly pies. Jenny turns in. Whack! She gives La Ufa a hard kick. Oh! Lolita degree. Yowls as she staggers back. But she is soon better. Lolita grunts softly and keeps walking on. Who is this black beast walking so slowly? It has one big nose and two big horns. It has broad hooves, a wide back, and a large head. Lolita's nose quivers. The buffalo is going to a pond full of water. Lolita forgets her fear and trots towards the water. Splish, splosh, splish, splosh. The buffalo walks right into the pond. The buffalo plonks down and splashes water all over Lolita. The pond is full of buffalo. There is no room for Lolita. Disappointed, Lolita shuffles away. Out of nowhere, a scruffy dog appears. Snarling, the dog moves slowly towards her. Lolita picks up all her four hooves and runs as fast as she can. She finds herself in the middle of a thicket of bushes. Lolita pants and gasps. She is tired. RND she is very hungry. Buzzes. A pesky mosquito buzzes near her. Lolita shakes her head, flapping her ears. The entire bush shakes. Mulberries begin to rain down on her. Delighted, Lolita gobbles up the berries, the ripe and the not quite ripe. Her nose and her tongue now a delicate purple, a very tired Lolita settles down in the bushes and falls fast asleep. In her sleep, she dreams of kicking cucumbers and swimming donkeys. Tomorrow will be a brand new bun lay. Who knows what new excitement it will bring? One thing is for sure, Lolita's adventures have just begun. 1. Lolita the pig ventures beyond her fence and encounters a variety of things, some pleasant and some terrifying. Why do you suppose she keeps walking instead of returning to her beautiful, secure gate? 2. Do you believe Lolita the pig should return to her home? Why do you think that is?